Good day guys, finally I'm playing my main, it's been a while though, I hope you enjoy and macro I'll play them. I tried lethal tempo in this game and it's good for a free second skill. It's surprisingly good though. I also tried out the new minor runes, Scorch and Nimbus Cloak. This early matchup is favored on him, but I'll try to get to level 2 first to get an advantage. I thought I could only get one turret hit but I got it slowed by his red card. I definitely lose since I use my flash. That fate recalled, so I'm gonna fast clear this wave and try to look for a roam. This is one of the advantages of fast pushing. Look at Twisted Fate stuck in mid while I go for a roam. It doesn't matter with Twisted Fate though because of his ultimate. Dragon and RH have not spawned yet and I already have Rabadon. So far, I'm loving these changes. Our jungler started RH instead of Dragon which is a good choice. We don't wanna go on 5v5 yet since our chaps are weak early and we need to scale first. Let me destroy this mid turret so I can go side lanes now, which also gives better lane priority. I'll trade our bottom turret to their top turret. Whenever there's an opportunity to trade something, try to make most of it. I bought Soul Stealer for faster ult because Twisted Fate Rush is Stasis. I bought Proto Belt this time instead of Stasis. It's good to associate this with his combos and can be used to skip also.
they're still almost full HP even though my team got wiped. All I have to do now is to find a way to split push. I realize we can't do anything here, and we just need to scale more so we can at least fight 5v5. I'm pretty sure they will take Baron so I'll push it straight me. Super minions at mid lane will at least make this game longer. It's a late game win condition for us. This is why we need to scale first and all the pushing was worth it. Thank you guys for watching, as always, stay peace, lover.